OK, so let's say I've been given this information, that the sum of the first 10 terms of an arithmetic series is 506.5, whereas the sum of the 8th to the 16th terms inclusive is 321.3. And I need to find the first term and the common difference. So, if I'm told that the sum of the first 10 terms is 506.5, then I can say that 506.5 is equal to, using this formula, 1 half of n, which is 5, so half of 10, times 2a plus n minus 1, so 9d. OK. Now, I can simplify that, dividing both sides by the 5. So 506.5 divided by 5, and I get 101.3 is equal to 2a plus 9d. And that can be equation number 1. Now, if the sum of the 8th to the 16th terms inclusive is 321.3, that means that 321.3 must be equal to the first 16 terms added together. Take away the first 7 terms added together, because that gives me the 8th to the 16th terms combined. This is like having um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and saying, right, of those, I need the 8th to the 16th terms inclusive. So there's your 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, and I need to include that 8th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 left, so I cut away the 7 I don't need. And that's precisely what that means. So 321.3 is equal to, well, S16, using this formula again, is a half times 16, so 8, times by 2a, plus n minus 1, so 15d. So that is S16. I now need to take away S7. So we've got a half of 7, so 3.5, times by 2a plus n minus 1, so 6d. So here is my equation, and I need to simplify this down. So if I um, multiply through those brackets, that would probably be the best idea at this point. So 321.3 is equal to 16a plus uh, 120d. Take away 7a. So 3.5 times 2 is 7. And then 3.5 times 6 will be 21. So minus 21d. So I've actually got 321.3 is equal to 16a take away 7a, so 9a. And then we've got 120d take away 21, leaves me 99d. Now, if I divide uh, that one through by 9, OK, both sides by 9, 321.3 divided by 9 is 35.7. So 35.7 is A plus 11D. So this is my equation number two. So now, if I do equation number one and take away two lots of equation number two, OK, because that will allow me to cancel the A's, I've got this 101.3 take away two lots of 35.7 which gets me 29.9. I've got the 2a take away 2a, and I've got 9d, so 9 take away 2 lots of 11, which gets me minus 13, so minus 13d. So 29.9 divided by minus 13 is equal to minus 2.3. So there is the common difference. I can now substitute that into either of my two original equations. I'm going to substitute it into the second one. 
So 35.7 is equal to A plus 11D. So 11 lots of two, minus 2.3 is minus 25.3. So add that to the 35.7. So 35.7 plus 25.3 makes 61. So A is 61 and D is minus 2.3. Okay? And that is quite a complicated example of solving this type of problem.